Sagittarius, how you doing guys? So we're here to do a five month reading for you, uh, but also then we do some channel messages. Some people just don't get the channel messages. They don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't but um, I'm a different tarot reader. We just pretty much just say what they're saying and if they relate to you, they relate to you. There are some relatives around you, gonna be some relatives. They're saying wedding also, relative. Relative, relative, the theory of relativity or a lot of relatives around. Now the reason why I think there's gonna be a lot of relatives around and why you're going to relate to a lot of people is because of an inmate also. And although, okay, they're also saying an inmate, okay? Uh, in a mat, in a, in a, uh, a name also, in a mate, in a mate, inmate. But it could be to do with prison for a lot of you. <laughs> prison. Okay, but um, so we'll go on that slightly and then we'll look at what I've kind of wrote. But uh, an inmate. They're saying an inmate or a roommate. You might have a roommate, but even if you do have a roommate, there's going to be something to celebrate. Because they're saying that there's a lot of celebrations. Celebrate good times, come on. But a lot of celebrating to do. Now, I'm also hearing sobriety, a twist in my sobriety. You could have something to do with a Capricorn. Don't ask me why. It was just someone I used to... <laughs> an old song, actually. It used to be a Capricorn. And one of the songs that we used to relate to was a twist in my sobriety, and I just relate that to Capricorn. So you could have something to do with a Capricorn, okay? Just... Uh, uh, <laughs> do you? <laughs> um, I think so, yeah. I think so. I think they're saying... I think... Yeah, they are saying... Apparently you're saying, yes, Steve, I do have Capricorn in my chart. So it could well be you. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, obviously not going to prison. I don't know. It... <laughs> It feels like that there's a um, an inmate or a roommate, right? Now, a lot of you, obviously, it could be an inmate and it could be to do with prison and stuff like this, and you would know someone. I channel world events as well, and some people get confused and think, well, what are you talking about? That's not me. Well, you know, go to another terror channel. <laughs> but um, anyway, so what we're looking at is uh, basically a roommate, okay? A rumor also. I'm hearing rumor. Don't know if you had this in your monthly or weekly. But rumor, 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 rumors, rumors, also the, the song rumors, um, but rumors, that there's a rumor out there. Listen, I don't know if any of you have seen, um, I don't know, there's five of them, okay, and it's the Umbrella Academy, and she says, listen, I've got a rumor, and someone goes like that, and all of a sudden they just walk off, and I'm picking up this strange uh, sensation around, listen, I've got a rumor. And uh, I don't know if someone is spreading gossip or rumours, I don't know. Or then they're also saying, listen, I've got a rumour. <laughs> so I've got a room. Some of you, it's now changing in like, I've got a room. If you want a room to rent or you want to come and stay here, you can and you're more than welcome. It's a little bit like an open house or a showroom. But if not, it's showing someone a room. Okay, now if you're looking for a room, well then look for a Sagittarius because you might think, listen, I'm a Sag, I'm looking for a room. And lo and behold, the person I end up taking the room from is also majorly, mainly, mainly involved with the Sagittarius already. What? <laughs> what? They are mainly involved with a Sagittarius already. Oh dear, why do we always have to go on to some kind of like weird dynamic of third party? Because you were celebrating. Let's just hope that the celebration is not the Three of Cups. Everybody must know what that is, okay? But um, I'm picking up Pisces energy around you, a lot of you. A Piscean around. Because um, that's three. Something to do with a high priestess. Also, a mum. Becoming a mum or a mum. So is someone already like, okay. Let's draw it back around to some kind of like where people don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I picked up celebration, celibate, okay, uh, and also um, widow, a widow as well. Now, for some of this is why I'm picking up that it is to do with like an ex and a marriage as well for a lot of you. And it means that you're hopefully not a widow, but you would be divorced, okay. But you would celebrate that divorce if that's what you're looking for because there seems to be that there's got to be a divorce settlement first before someone moves in on someone, which is also moving in on the room, going to another place, staying with someone else. And there could well be a, a divorce or a settlement or physical breaking of uh, karma and then you are one's free to go in order to go to this other person. You're free to be whoever you're with. And that, uh, because they they definitely said that a Sagittarius 
is already involved. <laughs> so you're already involved with someone, Sag. So what, are you looking for someone else? Because it's going to involve something breaking, like a chain and a, and a um, cycle and, and, all, and everything else. And I broke out of prison. Oh, okay, I broke out of prison. <laughs> There's the inmate that seems to be coming up. I've broke out. Listen, I really appreciate a lot of your kind words and comments for a lot of people. I I get some strange people that, that comment, and they really do like to like try to make me feel bad that other tarot readers are better. I don't mind. I really don't mind. I'm just a reader of my own stuff. You know, if you don't like it, you know, I'm not saying you said. I'm just saying, you know, it's good to know that some people really do relate with these messages, and uh, and we go with that. But um, they're saying that someone's breaking out of prison or broke out uh yeah they're saying like because they're saying an inmate also and then there's going to be some kind of like uh oh i really don't know because it's kind of coming across as also a court appearance action release or not and bail and tag and all of this kind of thing so these messages also relate to sun moon rising and venus and they have to because then someone would watch there's some moon rising and Venus and saying, man, you were kicking on the same channel as what you were kicking on the other one. And it's just the way it, the way it is. That's just the way it is. But, um, yeah. So we're going to go on to the, there could well be someone that breaks out of prison or comes out on parole or, or something or an inmate, roommate, all this kind of thing. Okay. Now, if so, this person that is also breaking out of prison, they're saying that they're going to be looking for a roommate as well. So they might be coming back into your life asking you for a room. <laughs> it's down to you <laughs> but um, they're definitely saying uh, I'm looking for a room I'm looking for an inmate can I stay so if you've got anything where someone's left in the past this can be children or or anybody and they've left and they've gone to something which is all, always why I always relate to a prison sentence of a marriage because that's like a strong strong bond strong astronomy astronomy some of you could be an astronomer or Emma or Strona, Donna, also Donna. Uh, well, sometimes I just channel names and stuff. People think it's weird. Yeah, I am weird. Um, I'm saying astrono astronomer, 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 Angela, astronomer, astro oh, sorry. Okay, spirit, stop because I don't know what you're saying. Okay, so, um, Roommate, looking for a roommate, also a rumour though, someone's spreading rumours. I mean it might even be gossip of like, listen I've got to spread this about, I've um, got a room, do you want it, right? So they're, they're also saying, yeah they're saying room, 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 oh, okay, Cancerian, something to do with the Cancerian, okay, Cancerian is in your energy for a lot of you, and it would be a roommate, so someone's leaving a Cancerian, Listen, y'all have to figure this out. You're either going for a Cancerian, leaving a Cancerian, or it just means travel. Cancerian's involved. A rumour. There might be someone that's planning this and thinking, you know what, it's soon coming to the point now where... I'm definitely picking up Aries, but I'm doing Sagittarius. I'm picking up Aries. But um, I'm like... Uh, I'm having to pack everything into a car and go or leave, or you are. <laughs> and then people are going to split up is what they're saying and then people are going to go their own way and then people are going to find rooms roommates go with different people all this kind of stuff some court actions something to do with prison for a lot of you um something to do with the celebration of marriage this could well be in the family that you witness or it could be yourselves where you you uh because they're definitely saying something to celebrate about which would be good news which would be to do with about a better room or a job or the celebration in the family of someone getting married or you could be. And if you are and you're good, then a majority of these messages they're saying that are really just relating to things that you will witness and see around your soul groups, people, which is family, things happening in the world, stuff that comes about, goes around, comes around, karma, they keep saying karma, 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 chameleon, some chameleon, probably Leo energy as well around you. Uh, opportunities in life, definite fire signs around you, that's for sure. Ace of Wands, uh, picking up on plenty of opportunities now that are going to come in through the rest of your year. Free will, though. <laughs> yeah, don't get me started with the free will. 
a will, also something to do with a will, um, Bill, also the name Bill, Will Bill, a will from Bill, something, there could be something to do with like a financial settlement to do with someone that's called Bill, if they were called Bill or Will, it might be someone that passed and that leaves some kind of will to you, leaves their name for you, is what they're saying, they're going to leave your name, okay, so some of you, you have like a, um, Oh, okay, so hopefully no one passes. But um, they're saying that someone's going to leave something behind, which is their name, meaning that this would be a father. Well, they said grandfather. Well, the grandfather would be the person that has the actual name of the father, and then the, the, there's something that they're just saying that someone's going to leave their name for you. And they're going to leave their nan for you. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> Why would someone leave their nan for them? Don't know what that's about. But something to do with, well, I'm going to leave them for you. I'm going to leave them for you. So if I channel these for you or for them, whoever, it would be involving you. Can't ever tell who's saying it, but someone is saying, I'm going to leave them for you. Right? I'm going to leave them for you. So... I don't know if they're leaving someone for you or you're leaving someone for someone, but someone is leaving somebody for somebody else is definitely what they're saying, Sagittarius. Okay, we're going to leave those strange galactic messages. Uh, you could have skipped past that. This will be your tarot reading now. We do a full spread throughout your whole year, but we pretty much start with August. I know a lot of you had that. Some of the same messages might come out. They may not. They may relate in some way, but they could well be different. But this is really for Tier 2 members but we give you at least something. But I'm going to do some other things that I've got planned up around channeling, uh, so you might see them appearing on the channel. Please make sure that you hit the bell and the show all to be notified for different things that come up through the channel throughout the month. I've got a Gemini moon, so I change quite a lot. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, let's see, Sagittarius. So, children, there's been something very dynamic around your kids. There could be a breakup around the next marriage and stuff like this. If it isn't your children, then it's someone that you know that you could well be with. But there's definitely dynamics that have been going on around the house and the home. People breaking up, people shouting and screaming and arguing with one another. There's a strong awakening here also to the truth about a child as well. Okay, something about children. Like I said, it might be the, the ending of uh, the relationship that you've got or had with an ex-partner. Um, that you've been married to and it is involving that child and that people have been kind of like going through this breakup and financial settlement of houses and homes and businesses where would this child be staying would they be staying with that person or you because they would be going to another home that is financially just been built there's an, a foundation that's been built but it's on faulty grounds that's why it's more of a a new release this person also could be released from prison if there is a prison sentence and they come and ask you for a room to rent as well like an apology or give you an apology that would be down to you if you want to accept this apology this could also still relate to this child either going to the other person or back to you but there would still be some kind of like well I need to, we need to talk about this then because we can't keep going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and in and out and in and out Okay, you might have children that are involved, whether between exes and, and your partner, things like that. This can also be someone that does really get released from prison, if you're relating to that story, and that someone comes back saying the same old story, the same old story over and over again. We've gone through it time and time again, is no matter what I do or what I say, you don't listen to what I have to say about it, so what you got to say about it? So what are you going to apologise for? Destroying everything in our lives? Are you going to say that the home that we're living in isn't financially secure or I'm not financially secure? Why should I do this and why shouldn't I do that? I really don't know if I want to be bothered or no. Okay. Let's see. So Sagittarius for five months, please. But we're starting off from around all this. Yeah. So leave it there. There's the Empress. There's Pisces energy. So someone, like I said, there is a Pisces energy here that someone is leaving someone for. They're either leaving a Pisces and going towards another one, or they're leaving a situation because they're leaving kind of Scorpio Pisces energy here, right? Now, a lot of people, you might not hear that this is a Pisces. To me, it is because it's three. 
Um, I'm, you know, <laughs> explaining to people. I think I'm just going to stop reading the comments, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, I appreciate all the good ones, but then you get some weird people. And man, some people keep leaving these uh, explicit sex lines. And oh, if you click this and you can go over and see, I mean, why do people even bother? Do people really think that they're going to click on someone's link on a, <laughs> you know? But um, anyway, so. So I'm not going to close the comments down, but if I don't ever reply or anything, it's because I'm just, you know, sometimes I read them and sometimes I try not to listen to other negative people. Um, but again, this is someone that's going backwards and forwards from a mother to a father also. And it is, um, like I said, there could be a love interest that is breaking things down and financially realising that the situation they're in is pretty much over. And that what they do want is possibly a Leo or a Pisces. But they want they don't want to accept this apology anymore. They realise that apology really just falls upon deaf ears. It's pretty the tower is pretty much like, you know, when you try to avoid a conversation with someone because you know that they can be very dynamic or there could be a lot of shouting and screaming involved. And that people normally try to uh, like to uh, involve themselves <laughs> involve in a tower. Mm, unless you want to get involved into a fight. But um a lot of people, they always try to avoid the tower, you know, and that basically means that I need to get around eight, is to go around this here in order to go towards this other person. Because they are general readings and because it involves you, like I said, it involves everybody in your life. So these energies can mean that there is one person that you could know of, or yourself, and you've got it in your chart, that is also going towards a Piscean. They want to go towards something where they can be looked after and nurtured as something that they feel is more satisfactory for their energy of being cared for and looked after. Okay, so if your ex is also a Pisces and you've had a lot of dis discussions and a lot of backwards and forwards around this energy, <clears throat> but this can be, like I said, your partner, if there's an ex, and this is your partner as well, right? And that they go backwards and forwards between the ex and you and... Um, this person would be a Piscean pretty much and that would either be a mother or the father okay because it's general and um, they go between and this child goes between like the ex and the back to argue with you and then there's a lot of like uh, you know they're right you're wrong they're right you're wrong and no you're wrong and I'm right and, and you know you've, you've got the old scenario of, of um, marriages with children and stuff like that being involved and what's best for them or what is really best for me and I can't help right. it I have to look after my kids but the ex is involving and there's so much backwards and forwards that I'm you know I'm just sick of it <laughs> pretty much you know um, because this is like I have to tiptoe around the house and I have to tiptoe around you know being able to to express myself freely in the way I want to and that if I can't express myself freely in the way I want to, then I have to avoid people at home and I have to avoid people of circumstance, of their own circumstances, you know. So the circumstance that I'm in, I feel like I have to tiptoe around someone at home in order to speak to this person. That, uh, you know, it might be a love, never love interest for some of you. And that, you know, and it's kind of like, listen, I, I really don't want to get involved in this. I have to sneak around to do things around the house and the home and go out the back and get on the phone or on the blower and talk to this person when there is a person that's not listening that I don't want to be with and I don't want to be involved and because I don't want to be involved and I don't want them to hear what I'm saying to this person then I don't want to get involved around this tower so that's the person that you're presently around at the moment and that, like I said it can be your partner that is trying to avoid and go around the tower for the eight to talk to this person here right could be anybody continue on this reading please for Sagittarius I think I see the seven of swords too many cards Dave two I need to I really do need to make a decision now there is this is just the rock and the hard place of something that you know is inevitable that someone needs to say or do something but you just seem to always be stuck in this same pattern which is the definition of madness of being caught in hell you know when we're on hell on earth then what on earth goes on in my mind what on earth do we keep playing out this same thing over and over again why on earth do we do that because we're on as on earth as it is in heaven upside down right upside down round and around and around we go around and around the prickly bush okay i keep picking up i need to go around them i need to go around and through K 
cancerian energy I really think is also here for a lot of you um, but I can't make up my mind right yet it's kind of like someone does know what they want but they just physically can't do it yet because there is an X involved because there are decisions that need to be finalized with someone first and they really do really they really do want an Empress but they also don't want an Empress at the same time basic basic energy I really don't want to be controlled what I want is to be able to be free here to be free is to be able to do what I want to do be who I want to be go where I want to go I want to live freely so I don't have to answer questions to people I don't want people to ask or dig into my personal life and make me feel like I'm not worthy right so I am worthy and what I am worthy enough of is the direction that I'm going for myself where there is a uh, something that needs to be decided on sure of course but six of wands I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> there's your free will you see I'm doing it anyway right it's it's done there is something here that's kind of like done and it's over and you know we've got ideas that we want to do so we're going on we're, we're going on our own idea we've got an idea it's here and we're gonna go forward on that anyway you know we'll have to see what the future brings as an energy but at least we're gonna go forward on that idea anyway okay what have we got 21 20 <laughs> 21 21 we're going to go forward on that idea anyway. One more card, please, for Sagittarius. Hangman. <laughs> there you go. Pisces to Pisces. Like I said, there could well be two Pisces here. Well, like I said, around your energy. Because if you don't know of a Piscean, right, but you know one, but you know that there's a dynamic ending around... There are so many scenarios of where you could have Pisces in your chart, this person could have Pisces in the chart, right? Meaning you and your partner. There could be an ex that's involved that's a Pisces, but there can be someone that also wants to go to one, which is here, which is either you as a love interest, your partner that you're splitting up with as a love interest, or this is the ex that the children are fighting over that they have to go to, which is the same person. Okay, from Pisces to Pisces. There's pieces of Pisces everywhere. <laughs> pieces of them. Just one piece at a time. One step at a time. Am I leaving? One step at a time am I leaving, but one step at a time am I going towards someone that I want to be? And if you think that this reading and you're like, yeah, I don't know, but I know my partner might be cheating or going somewhere, they're going to Pisces that's where they're going right okay so we're going to leave it at that at the moment hope those messages relate to you in some form or manner things are going to change up around the channel so I'm going to do some channeling no tarot readings just channeling just for people that are interested just to watch they will be free okay uh, and some other things of other spreads that I also want to start to do as well but like I said, I'm Gemini, and sometimes I find it very difficult in order to be able to think, right, I'm going to do that, stick with it. Um, but anyway, if you want to watch the rest of this reading, it does only go to Tier 2. Uh, but I really do appreciate any of your likes, share, comments, all that kind of stuff, uh, to hit the show all uh, section on the notifications. Uh, but like I said, if you do want to watch the rest of your month and then clarify the cards to see the turn up and the turn out, you've also got loads of other stuff of extendeds that also have only gone over to tier two so you don't just get this you get quite a few other things that are on tier two um, but things do change it does explain it over there if you want a personal reading you can also reach out from the link below but let's see what's going to happen for the rest of your year Sagittarius thanks very much guys see you soon